Welcome to London, Great Britain for the final of the 2024 Euro Cup women. This is it, London Lions against Besiktas by the end of the night. One of these teams will be picking up their club's first ever European trophies. Besiktas looked strong in the home leg last week and enter today's game with a seven point lead. But London are ready to go. This one is perfectly balanced. And trust me, a very, very tough one to call. Not many experts confident in which team are going to walk away with the trophy later this evening. There's a result from leg one. Besiktas winning 75-68 on their home floor last week in Istanbul. But it is a new game, a new sheet of paper here at the Copper Box in London as we will decide our FIBA Euro Cup Women 2024 champion by the end of this evening. Besiktas, they looked really good in the first half against London last week, had a 12-point lead heading into the half-time. As we look at the road to the final, Besiktas turning over BLMA and Girona on their way to the final, whilst London Lions had a titanic tussle in their semi-final against Umana Rea and managed to come away with the aggregate win there. As I was saying, the ship just looked good last week until London eventually came to life. They were down by 18 points, and then all of a sudden they started hitting some big, big shots, particularly from downtown, and they were able to wrestle their way back in. Carly Samuelson, center of your picture there, one of the protagonists in their comeback last week. But really, Holly Winterburn will claim a lot of the plaudits from that comeback performance. Plenty of lessons though for both teams to take from that first leg. Shifters hold a seven point lead. And it's tough to say who are favourites right here, right now. London, the home court, but Schichters with the points. Tough one to call, more than likely. Could go the full 40 minutes, and who knows, maybe even further. Crowd are starting to take their seats here in the copper box as the Schichters are going to be introduced to the crowd. I'm sure they're a little disappointed to only have a seven point lead here this evening as they did lead by 18. They look so good at times, so controlling in the early stages of that game. But you have to say it was two players that led the way, Nogic and Evans. And realistically this evening, if they're going to come away as champions, you're probably going to have to see the likes of Lee Byram or Kravasevic firing a little bit more than they did last week. Coach Kaya will have been working hard this week with his team on both ends of the floor, and I'm sure their confidence is high entering today's game. As for the London Lions, well, they struggled at times offensively last week. They seem to live and die by that three ball. Interesting to see if they look to change that up for tonight's final game or whether their fate will continue to rest in how well they shoot from range. That said, credit has to go to the resilience that they showed, in particular 23-year-old Holly Winterburn stepping up in a huge, huge way. For me, the key will be the likes of Samuelson and Fag Benle coming out early, getting some points on the board early and getting a little bit of momentum offensively for London in front of their home crowd. Both teams, relatively deep rosters on show. But both coaches, Coach Kaltadu and Coach Akea. And Holly Winterburn, the hero of last week for London. But both coaches are likely to run relatively shallow rotations for Schichtus. They run a very shallow rotation, really looked at only six players last week, got in a bit of foul trouble. As Temi Fag Benley comes to the floor, the captain and leader. Last two players to be introduced, Samuelson and Fag Benley, are absolutely critical to London's chances of lifting the trophy here this evening. As I said, both these teams looking to make history. Neither team has ever lifted a European trophy. London a little bit more. No great British team has ever lifted a European trophy. So not just the chance of making history for their club, but also for their country as well. Both teams now look to enter their final warm-up stages as we get ready for what should be one hell of a final here. Here are our officials for this evening. Here are Jakobs, Yasmina Alcaraz, Venceslav Velikov from Belgium, Spain and Bulgaria respectively. 
And the officials ready to go. They look laser locked in already, as we are here as well. Under five minutes now until the opening tip. And uh, you do think that the start of this game is going to be important. Neither team will want a slow start. For Besiktas, a slow start will mean their seven points gets eaten up and uh, uh, reduced pretty quickly. Dana Evans was one of the key players to give them that seven-point lead. Came to life in that game. 20 points, three assists, two steals. She's been doing a good job all season, averaging 23 points a game, nearly four rebounds and almost five assists a game. A season high of 36 back in the regular season. Here's a starting five for Besiktas, Lazic, Evans, Byram, Nogic and Lee. No real surprises there. Expect to see Kravasevic come onto the floor as well. I'm not sure how much further down the bench coach Akea will go. Really didn't go any further than that in the first leg of this final. Will he be forced to, though, today? Didn't get in huge foul trouble early, so Coach Akea was able to run that shallow rotation. But maybe fatigue played a part in why his team couldn't hold on to that 18-point lead all the way to the final buzzer. Crowd are starting to take their seats here in the Copper Box Arena, part of the London 2012 infrastructure that was built. Didn't host any basketball, interestingly. Now it is the home of the London Lions. Most uh, known for the handball competition at London 2012. But now it is certainly known for basketball, gaining a reputation, not just in Great Britain, but across Europe as well. The London Lions men's and women's teams have been putting on a show this season. Men's team not quite able to replicate the women's. Men's having to bow out of the semi-finals of Euro Cup against Paris. Whilst the women's team have got themselves all the way through to the final and could be 40 minutes away from history. Under three minutes to the opening tip and this is when the nerves kick in as we see Schnitzina who had a big game as well against Besiktas, ended up with 10 points in th th that one and came out this week saying this will be her final season and as such, what a legend she is and this will be her final, final European game. Starting five for London is Winterburn, Gustafsson, Petty, Fagbenle and Samuelson. More to come off the bench though for Lions. Expect to see Katnic, Schnitzina and Myers introduced into the action by coach Kaltzidou. Both teams into their final huddles as coaches want those final words. Both teams ready, prepped, good to go. And this one, as I keep saying, perfectly balanced. That slightly could be the difference for Besiktas, but you still feel that on their home floor, London are a different beast, and potentially, if they can play to their potential, London may be a little too much for Besiktas to be able to contain. Either way, though, history will be made this evening. One of these teams will be lifting their first ever European trophy. Jovan and Ogic will likely have to have a huge night here if Besiktas are going to do so. Just a reminder, if you want to follow the stats along as we go through today's game, just head to fever.basketball slash Women. All of the latest information, stats, and everything else that you're going to need will be there for you. Starting five for London. Get ready and lock in. The pressure builds on both of these teams. 
Kappa, an aggregate-based system. This is game two. This is the second leg of the final. Besiktas enter the game with a seven-point lead. London Lions need to win today by eight or more. If it is a seven-point lead at the end of regulation for the London Lions, then we will go to overtime. There is going to be a winner here this evening. And we're underway here in Lyon, the second leg of the final Euro Cup Women 2024. London's ready to rock. London Lions against Besiktas. Evans straight to the rack, no good. Rebound picked up by Winterburn. Evans showing early on the intention. Foul's going to be called. It's Fag Benley, aggressive down in the low post. Byram not really able to contain her, and that is a difficult matchup. London going with their two bigs early. They only showed it for phases in the first leg. Fag Benley and Gustafsson on the floor. The Schick just do struggle to cover two legitimate bigs. Fag Benley turns a corner on Byram. Oh, gets the score. Temi Fag Benley gets London underway. That will settle some nerves and tradition here at the Copper Box for the fans to stand until London score their first points. So the fans are back in their seats. Lee with the move. Big rebound by Fag Benley. Both teams looking to get to the bucket early. Neither team settling here. Petty drives inside. Oh, rejected by Lee. Strong play, aggressive defense there from Lee Yuaru. Baseline ball for London. Great to see so many people out here in London. It was a sellout in Istanbul for Besiktas. A slightly bigger arena hosting this game here in London, though. Fag Benley drops step. Oh, against the roll. Fag Benley struggled to get. Those buckets to drop in the first leg, and that will be giving her a huge amount of confidence here early in the second. London out to a, an early four-point lead. Trimming Besiktas' aggregate lead to just three. Evans for three, though. Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Dana Evans. Cool, calm, and collected from the American. Gustafsson at the top, patience here from London, pass inside, Winterburn, drop step, has to come back out though, why did she not go up? She'd done all the hard work, got the defence on her back, used the size mismatch, instead tried to bring it back out and London turn it over. Evans, the linchpin here for Besiktas. Drives inside, just meets the wall that is Carly Samuelson. Three ball goes up, no good. A lot higher pressure, a lot more on-ball pressure this evening here from London. Winterburn finds Samuelson down low. Samuelson looking to muscle away to the basket. Pulls up the little J and it's string music. Carly Samuelson, another player that didn't get her offense firing early, really stepped up in a big way in the second half. Ended up with 16 points. Corner three ball, huge. Lazic. Lazic with the big three. Just have some patience. Winterburn now. Facing off against Evans, throws it away. No gets with the rebound. Sorry, with the interception out to Evans. Won't get the score. Good hustle defense by Petty. Real chase back hustle on oh, the pass is poor though. And another turnover here from London. Maybe a little too adventurous with their offense so far in the early stages. We're tied at six apiece. A little under three minutes gone here in the first half, in the first quarter. already for London in this game. That will be a concern for Coach Kautzidou. Nogic now, stolen away. Oh, that's a good read by Petty. Petty comes away, what's the call? Offensive foul called on Petty. Look to throw her arm into Nogic. Shea 
Petty not happy with the call. Let's look at the replay. Moves the right arm back into the chest of Jovana Nogic. Officials deem that to be a clear out, an offensive foul. Patrolling the sidelines, so much to her personally. To lead this team to history, potentially here this evening. Lazic going up against Samuelson, comes back out to Evans, another three. This time it's short, Samuelson with her second rebound of the game. Eddie at the top, a little pick and roll with Fag Benlay. She'll go all the way through. Oh, hands it off to the smashing Samuelson. London regain their lead on the evening. Still trail though by five on aggregate. Lazic now. Oh, Byram falls over, manages to hold on to possession. Tough play there by the 22 year old. Inside, lean out against Gustafsson. Oh, and you can't enable and allow Lee to establish that low in the post. You really can't. That's costly. Winterburn now at the top. Little crossover. Can't shake the defender, though. Samuelson has to put it up with the shot clock expiring. Almost got it to go from way downtown and some hustle there from Peddy and Fag Benley and London will hold on to possession. <laughs> the entire London bench in unison. It almost looked like a, a 2K glitch then. Every person on the bench doing exactly the same thing at the same time. Petty now finds Gustafsson. What role will she play this evening? Samuelson has it knocked away. Good hands by Nogic. She read the drive well, able to react. Now she wants to feed the post. Nothing there. Evans on the outside instead. Byram being bullied by Fag Benle at the moment. Into the corner, Lazic tries to drive baseline. Winterburn can't hold on to her. Lazic with some real quick feet. Can't get the score, and we're still tied at eight here, halfway through the first quarter. Inside to Fag Benley. Oh my goodness me, how low did Temi Fag Benley seal out? I am just struggling with the physicality that Fag Benle is bringing to this evening's game. A personal mission, I'm sure, for Temi Fag Benle. The former Great Britain Olympian. Add this one to your resume if she can pick up the trophy as well. The first ever British player to lift a European trophy. Oh, Winterburn for three! Holly Winterburn picking up where she left off from the first leg. London Lions lead out to five. Besiktas's aggregate lead just two points now. Rajakaya will make the change. Callahan will get a game here. Sorry, not Callahan. Kukusovic will get a game here. Into the action for the 29-year-old Serbian. Coach Akea going to be forced to run a deeper rotation than he was in the first leg. It looks like he will. Nogic trying to shake, pulls the trigger on a three. That's short. Batted into the hands of Winterburn. Not too sure she knew much about that one as it flew at her. Stolen away. Nogic is so good at that read and the reach around the back. Gets the score. Man and Ogic, two steals here in the first quarter. Some Besiktas fans in the crowd. 
Samuelson glides through the paint for the two off the glass. London Lions bringing the energy here in this first quarter. Real determination from the home team, but Besiktas are matching them toe to toe, step to step. Evans now uses the screen, elbow jumper. That one's a little heavy. Lee with the big rebound again, though. Lazic for three. Huge shot. Mihaila Lazic nails the three, just 23 years old. Brings Besiktas back to within two on the evening. Petty kicks it out. Catch and shoot for Winterburn. She cancels out the Lazic three with one of her own. What a show both these teams are putting on. The height before the first leg was huge. Even bigger going into this second leg here this evening. And both teams living up to it. Oh, Nogic from way downtown. Almost gets it to drop, but Winterburn scoops up the rebound. Her fifth rebound of the game already. Samuelson to Gustafsson. Steps out of bounds. Another turnover here for London. A little bit sloppy with their possession in this first quarter, London. As we see, the change as Katanich comes into the game for the Lions. Also into the game is the veteran Snitsina playing her last ever European game. Evans now drives inside, off the glass, was looking to draw the foul, no call. Oh, Nogic, she's going to get called for the foul this time. She thought she'd got her third steal. That's not great from Nogic, just putting it on the floor. Should have handed it back to the ref. Let's have a look at the replay. Where's the call? Yeah, absolutely. Look at that left arm just pulling Katanich out the way so she can get to the ball. Over two minutes left in this first quarter. Just a rem reminder, this is an aggregate-based game. This is leg two in the final. Besiktas held a seven-point lead going into this leg. So with London Lions' five-point lead on the night, Besiktas lead the tie by two. Neither team really picking up fouls here in the first quarter. Besiktas just have two. London even less with one. Schnitzina. Comes back out. Shot clock down to eight. Pick and roll. Gustafsson inside off the glass. And the tie is tied. The Lions lead by seven on the night. We are tied on aggregate now. Back to all square effectively. I'm sure Coach Kaltzadu would have asked that. Nogic too heavy. Oh, another rebound by Lee. What's the call? Jump ball as Gustafsson and Lee tie it up. Strong to the basket. That is a battle I'm going to enjoy watching all night as Gustafsson and Lee just play some old school big basketball strength, power, hustle, determination. All on show with those two. Kapanich now to Gustafsson. Samuelson finds a seam to attack. Shot clock down to nine. Three ball goes up and he's good. Abby Myers. That's a way to introduce yourself to the final. London have a double digit lead here on the night and a three point lead on aggregate. All of the hard work from Besiktas has been removed. That first leg seven point lead is long gone here in London as the Lions and the raucous crowd have a three-point lead with one minute 14 left in the first quarter. Timeout called by coach Akea as he needs to change things and change things quickly.
what a start to this second leg from the London Lions. They really have come in with real positivity, direction, a game plan that Coach Kaltadu's put together. And at the moment, her team absolutely delivering on that game plan. As they now lead by 10 on the night and three on aggregate. Evans being harassed by Katanich. She'll put the three up though. Off target. Foul's going to be called though as Byram ends up on the floor. Wait to see who the foul's on. It looked like it may have been on Samuelson. There's the three ball. Oh, no, it's going to be on Schnitzina. Just boxing out with the hands rather than the body. Evans trying to ask for an isolation, drives inside, defence stays with her. Lee and Gustafsson going for the rebound again. This time it's Gustafsson's, her fourth board of the game. Lee struggling at the moment, just one rebound to her name. Schnitzina doesn't get the jumper to go. I think her feet were on the line as well, so it would have only been a two. Final 30 seconds of this first quarter, Katanich. Will get called for the foul. Is it trying to play physical basketball, you wonder if it's an intentional plan to try and maybe wear out some of the key players for Besiktas. Jakea has a, a conversation with the officials about the attention that his point guard's getting. Beckford Norton comes into the game as Samuelson gets a prolonged quarter break. London certainly playing more physical basketball in this second leg. Byram inside, off the right hand, beautiful play. By Elif Byram. Had a double-double in the first leg, 10 points, 11 rebounds. A steal by Evans, good quick hands as Katanich again struggles to bring the ball up the floor. She'll get called for the foul and Lee will have to go to the free throw line to earn her points. And Besiktas targeted Katanich in that first leg. She struggled to get the ball up the floor safely. They went after her. As we see Lee picking up the foul. That is smart scouting report from Besiktas, trying to identify where they can create some impact, where they can apply the pressure defensively. Lee now at the line, 82% from the free throw line in Euro Cup women. Lee. Yuaru. Back into the game comes back Ben Lay as Gustafsson heads to the bench for a very well earned break. Having played uh, every second of the game so far. So he gets the first to go and what a superstar Lee Yuaru has developed into. Remember seeing her. What is it now? Crikey, six years ago, playing in the national team for China. A real raw prospect at that point. Loads of potential, and she's building into that potential. Averaging just short of 13 points, and over 10 rebounds a game for Besiktas. Oh, that's a tough play by Petty. 0.4 seconds, though. It's not going to achieve anything. They're not in the penalty. So London will be left with 0.4 seconds to produce something. But it does pick up another foul off Lazic. As she barrels Petty to the floor. 35-year-old looking to get to her feet. But a timeout has been called here by London. That's interesting that Coach Kaltadu wants to burn a timeout for 0.4 seconds at the end of the first quarter. Interesting to see if that comes back to affect her negatively in the second quarter, leaving her with just one timeout. Team lead by six, though. You can understand why she'd want to. And that is a problem that London face right now. London Lions, eight turnovers in the first quarter. Realistically, you'd want to try and get out of the first quarter with maybe three turnovers. So London Lions on eight. Four of them coming from steals from Besiktas. Is a problem for Coach Kaltadu and clearly part of the game plan for Coach Akea and his Besiktas team. They've executed that side of the game well in this first quarter, but they've still conceded 23 points, which I'm sure Coach Akea will not be happy with. Point four 
more seconds. London and coach Kaltadu calls a timeout to run something. They're setting up in a box with Schnitzina with the ball on the side. It's going to have to be a tip. It can't be a catch and shoot. There's the tip to Fagbenle. She gets the tip away, but no good. And that is the end of the first quarter here in the Copper Box. Ten minutes in the book. It's London Lions 23, Besiktas 17. Ten minutes down here in the second leg of the 2024 FIBA Euro Cup Women's Final. Besiktas against London Lions. This one has been a back and forth battle throughout. Holly Winterburn already has six points and five rebounds, picking up from the 23-point performance she had in the first leg. 23-year-old leading the way at such a young age for this London team. Besiktas still hold on to a single point lead on aggregate. Lee has four points, two of them coming from the free throw line, as well as two rebounds. As I said, Besiktas led by seven going into this game on aggregate. Their aggregate lead now is down to just a single point. Big second quarter of basketball underway here at the Copper Box. Evans being harassed by Petty, a legal screen being set by Lee. She didn't stay stationary long enough, she rolled too quickly. She either needs to just flash straight to the basket before contact is made, or if contact, in fact, it's the leg, isn't it? Yep, the leg's too far out. Needs to be more within her cylinder. Petty holds her ribs. Samuelson now brings it up over the half. Skips it to the corner, catch and shoot, three ball, slightly off. Rebound, eventually pulled down by Fag Benle. Oh, the pass is awful from Schnitzina. No other way to put that one. Fag Benle was locking down low in the post and Schnitzina passed it almost as the uh, the release pass, the relief pass where you just want your, your big to get hold of the ball so you pass it out of the post. Nogic now hands it off to Evans. Evans sees the lane, and you know what's going to happen. She's going to score two points. Dana Evans doesn't need two invitations to drive at the basket. She may only be 167 tall, but that has never stopped her attacking the rim. Shot clock down to nine. Samuelson trying to shape up, drives inside instead against Nogic, will draw the foul. Nogic saying, I've got my hands up. I think the referee's comment will be, it's not to do with your hands, it's the fact that your legs keep moving. And you weren't in a stationary position, you were moving. And creating the contact. Let's have a look at the replay. And your hands are up, but you're moving laterally into the player. Great call by the officials on that one. Samuelson at the line. 87% from the free throw line this season, Carly Samuelson. Had a slow start to the first leg, but it ended up with 16 points. Two from two from the line for Samuelson. I imagine we'll see Winterburn sat on the bench for long. Maybe looking to save some of that energy to a, a attack what might be a, a more fatigued Besiktas team. Oh, big steal, Fag Benley reading the passing lane well. Lee not able to seal her out. 
Schnitzina looking for options. Oh, finds the cutting fag. Benle, she'll go all the way around and come back out again. Composure there from the veteran. Schnitzina for three, too heavy. Won't get the roll and the rebound falls uncontested into the hands of Lazic. Evans attacking the basket. Has to put the brakes on as Petty recovers. Inside to Lee. Lee against Fag Benle. Foul called and one. Lee Uaru with the big play. She's starting to warm up. And that is a warning sign for London. As when Lee gets going, she is tough to stop. Schichter's fans enjoying the start to this second quarter. Schichter's find it a little bit easier to get to the bucket and score. Lee at the line with a chance of a three-point play. Only had eight in the first leg. Already has six here this evening. really need to do a huge amount of scoring in that first leg though the likes of Nogic and Evans got the job done and their defense got the job done as well back Ben Lane into the hands of Samuelson Samuelson will drive inside draws the foul off Lazic early fouls in this quarter for Besiktas are going to have to make the change as Lazic is getting into foul trouble. Into the game comes Kravasovic. Double change here for London. Oh, in fact, just a single change. Myers comes out and Holly Winterburn comes back in. Coach Kalpzadu clearly running the rotations to try and keep that continual pressure on Besiktas. No let up of energy or effort here. Samuelson now pulls up free throw line jumper and it's good that's the Carly Samuelson the London fans have fallen in love with that's the game that she brings day after day inside to Lee against Gustafsson back out Kravasovic wide open for three hits the three ball Tiana Kravasovic the 34 year old just goes nice and easy might be a final ain't no thing to me just going to step in and hit the three here. Besiktas back within two on the night. The lead out to five on aggregate. Gustafsson ends up on the floor. It'll remain London Lions ball though. Kravasovic having a, a big impact straight away. Had ten points in that first leg. Back in Istanbul last week. Samuelson catch and shoot. Short corner no good. Rebound pulled down by Byram. Good work there by Besiktas, guarding the inbound play. Samuelson's going to be called for the foul as Byram tries to bully her down into the low post. Just a little bit of a mismatch there as at the moment Besiktas running three bigs with Byram, Kravasovic and Lee all on the floor at the same time. London just with the two with Fag Benle and Gustafsson. Short jumper is good. Kravasovic coming in and making an impact. Look at the swagger. Already up to five points. Winterburn, free throw line, off the glass. Not sure if that was intended or not, but at this stage, it does not matter. Petty's going to be called for the foul on Evans. Petty ends up on the floor holding her face. London Lions with a two-point lead on the night. But trail by five on aggregate. Let's have a look at the replay here. Tough to see on that one. We just see the aftermath of it, really. Clearly a strategy for London is just to harass Evans and put her under a huge amount of pressure throughout the game. He's been on the floor for the whole game so far. Rebound by Lee. Oh, can't get the score, though. For once, she manages to uh, out-rebound Gustafsson. Doesn't get the bucket to go. Fag Benle for three. No, not this time. Rebound by Byram. 
Second rebound of the game for Elif Byron. Under six minutes left in this first half. London shooting a high percentage from the field, but Schipta struggling somewhat. Evans glides to the basket. That is a high percentage play. Put the ball in the hands of Dana Evans, and you will see your shooting percentages go north. They tie the game on the night, and Besiktas re-established that seven-point lead. Thanks, Ben Lane. Hands it away to Samuelson. Shot clock at three, at four, sorry. Samuelson inside, uses the pivot well and gets the score. Carly Samuelson's pumped. That's some determination. She wants the trophy. She wants the gold medal. Evans now trying to shake Petty up. Petty, I'm going to give her a, an extra bit of space off the glass. Where's the foul call this time? I think it's on Gustafsson. Another wrestling match with Lee. Let's have a look at the replay. Yeah, locks her arm in. I can see what the officials are calling there. Into the game returns Myers. Out of the game goes Petty. Almost stolen away by Fag Benle. Kravasevic holds on to it. Drives inside. Baseline cut. No good. Byram muscled out this time by Samuelson. Samuelson now waiting for the screen. Kravasevic steps across. Samuelson long. Two is good. Carly Samuelson shooting the lights out right now. Six from eight from the field for her. 14 points already for Samuelson. She has a season high of 25. That was against Caseri in the quarterfinals. And she's grabbing the rebound at the other end. Winterburn now hands it away. Backdoor cut. Winterburn won't get the score though. Smart play. Finish not quite there though. Samuelson called for the foul on Evans. London's lead up to four on the night. Besiktas still with the aggregate lead though overall. They lead by three on aggregate. That one's an easy call as Samuelson takes one for the team to slow Evans down. However, London are in the penalty. A low fouling first quarter has been followed by a very high fouling second quarter. Still three minutes and 55 to play. Evans misses the first of her two. That is a rare miss. WNBA champion knows how to put the ball in the bucket from anywhere on the floor. This is both her free throws but an encroachment in the lane, so Evans will get another go. In fact, no, early encroachment, I think, from Lee, so it will be a Lions ball on the baseline. Samuelson now, the hot hand, hands it to Gustafsson. Winterburn, lob pass to Gustafsson, down low against Lee, won't get the roll, the rebound's out for a battle and it bobbles back to Winterburn. London will go again. Winterburn glides inside, kicks it, corner, pocket, three ball, no good. Rebound by Gustafsson. Hell of a job being put in right now by Megan Gustafsson. Rebound number four for her. Coming in and playing a role. She had to step up as a, a scorer in the semi-final series, particularly in the first leg. Now coming in as the enforcer, the rim protector here in the finals. In fact, Benley now, little shot fake, goes inside. Kravasevic fouls her and one, Timmy Fag Benley. The captain leading by example for the Lions. London Lions lead back up to six now. With in fact Benle a chance from the free throw line to cancel out for Schichtus's aggregate lead. Timeout 
has been called here by coach Akea. Look at the joy of coach Kaltsadu, always thinking, trying to grab every second she can with her team. But coach Akea has called a timeout as his team trail by six on the night, and their aggregate lead is just a single point. Expected this second leg is not disappointing. Another roller coaster of a game between these two teams. Two teams who all season have absolutely delivered time and time again. Remember, London Lions entered that first leg last week unbeaten. They haven't lost a game in the Euro Cup women all season. Besiktas ended that run, whilst Besiktas themselves only have lost three in their route to this final. Dana Evans, seven points, four assists, two steals. Pretty much does everything for this Turkish team. It's Frank Benley now at the line. Not the best of free throw shooters, just 68% this year in this competition, but my goodness me, we'll let her off. Averaging over 16 points and almost seven rebounds a game. Gets the bonus to go as well. And that is Besiktas' aggregate lead gone. We are now tied on aggregate here at the Copper Box. Just about three minutes left in the first half. Evans, the crowd have come out in their numbers this evening. They're bringing the noise as well. Evans, step back, three ball. Little heavy, back of the iron and away. Rebound by Winterburn. Rebound number seven for her. Myers. Kicks it out, Gustafsson for three. Oh, it's huge! And London have the lead on aggregate again. Out to a double-digit lead. Two and a half minutes left here in the first half. Nogic inside to Lee. Lee trying to back away inside. Oh, using some beautiful footwork. Oh, almost a huge play by Lee. Gustafsson called for the foul. And Gustafsson picking up fouls here. That could be problematic for Coach Kaltsadu. Lee back at the line, two from two so far this evening, Lee Yuaru. As we've seen Kravasevic head to the bench for Besiktas. Came onto the floor and delivered five points though, Kravasevic. Back in the game comes Byran. Gustafsson will go out of the game for London after picking up that foul. Back into the action. Back into the action comes Savannah Wilkinson, her first taste of the finals. Crowd doing all they can at the Copper Box. Wonderful to see some of those Tokyo flags in the stands. Some Besiktas fans have made their way or locally based in the cosmopolitan city of London. And this is the second note, splits the free throws. London's lead stays at nine. Winterburn. Out to Myers. A wrestling match down low between Fag Benley and Lee. Fag Benley trying to get out of trouble. Oh, does so with a wonderful pass, and the score is good for Myers. What timing on the cup by Abby Myers. Perfect lane, perfect timing. And Fag Benley with the wonderfully delivered assist. London's lead out to 11. Aggregate lead of four here. Nogic, what's the call? Blocking foul called on Samuelson. I think Besiktas fans' hearts were in their mouth for a second then. Yeah, it's the right call. Hadn't quite established herself. Another foul. As we see Lazic come out of the game and Kusevic come back in. At the 
line goes Nogic. Unbelievably, a 95% free throw shooter this season. At the line for two, and every single possession, every single free throw is critical in a final, none more so than these here for Nogic. The first is good. Why I bother commentating on it? The second as well, those two. We could have just chalked up before she even stepped up to the line. Jovana Nogic, absolute superstar, deals with pressure so well. Fag Benley against Lee, has to come back out and spills it. Another turnover for London. They certainly have tightened up their control of possession in the second quarter, but still it's costing them. Nogic now guarded by Myers. Inside to Lee, going up against Fag Benle. Fag Benle can't hold on to a Lee, almost gets the score. Beautiful footwork by the Chinese big, but the shot not quite right off the glass. Final minute now of this first half. Winterburn, little hesitation, elbow, jumper, not money this time. Oh, Fag Benle! One, Temi Fag Benley. What a play by the team captain. Really has stepped up in a huge, huge way here. 11 points now for Fag Benley. Six rebounds. This isn't just about this game. This isn't just about her for Temi Fag Benley. This is about her city, her country, and writing history. A pioneer she has been for the women's game in Great Britain, Temi Fag Benley, an idol for many. London's lead now up to 12 on the night, five on aggregate. Nogic gets around the corner, nothing there though. Lee will drive at the basket. Fag Benley tries to stop it. Oh, Lee, you are and one. Anything Fag Benley can do, Lee can do as well. And it's that separation, as soon as Lee registered that, she knew she could get a little bit of momentum and bully her way to the basket, and that's exactly what she's done there. 30 seconds left here in the first half, and what a night Lee is having right now. Already up to 10, a chance to take it to 11. She does so. Bringing her team back to within nine on the night and two on aggregate. Big play by Lee as the Besiktas fans show some appreciation. Timeout's been called here by Coach Kalpsadu. 30 seconds left in this first half as we see some familiar faces. Uh, Zania Stewart sitting courtside. Another icon of the British game. See so many familiar faces courtside here this evening. Alongside uh, another Olympian as well, Lauren Thomas Johnson. Zania and Lauren were part of London 2012 team alongside Temi. Coach Akea now knows how important this final 30 seconds is. He can get his team back to level on aggregate. And that really is a big psychological boost for them to go back into the locker room, regather their composure and go again. Always a sign of a good coach. Scribblings on a coaching board that the team seem to understand, but the smartest minds in the world may struggle to decipher. Just now coming back to the floor. Looks so composed though throughout both of the games in this final so far. They don't seem to ride too high or too low on the emotions. London seemed a little bit more receptive to those emotions. Timmy Fag Benley is on 12 points and six rebounds. Baseline ball now for London. 
30 seconds left here in the first half. So Benley opting to run the baseline to get the ball into Winterburn. Schnitzina now back to Winterburn. Winterburn trying to shape off against Evans. Calls on the screen from Fag Benley. Fag Benley will roll. Shot clock at four though. Gonna have to get something away. Myers gets the three away. It's too heavy. Where's the rebound? Foul's going to be called on Besiktas. Let's see where the call was on, though. Pusovic, I think, is called for the foul. She ends up on the floor. Tough to see in the melee. Let's have a look here. Yeah, absolutely. She's got hands all over Wilkinson. Wilkinson ends up throwing her to the floor, but it was after she had been fouled. Coach Akea animated on the sidelines. Even history is within grasp. You'll do anything you can to get your hands on it. Lazic is going to come back in, I think. As we see, Wilkinson at the line, just 57% from the free throw line this season. Savannah Wilkinson did have a game high 16, though, back in the regular season against Brain. Second is good. 4.8 seconds left. London Lions lead back up to 10. Pusevic will come out of the game as Lazic comes back in. 4.8 seconds. Can Besiktas get something away? They've got a chance of tying this game on aggregate at the half. That would be a very big outcome here for the Turkish team. Evans brings it up with pace. Gets it running to... No good. That is the end of the first half here at the Copper Box in London. And what a first half we have had. Oh, no, Evans on the floor holding her ankle. That is a huge problem potentially for the Turkish team. Let's have a look at the replay. Must have been where she landed. Let's have a look. Yeah, it is. She came down and collided with Fag Benle holding that right foot. Oh, no, that's heartbreaking to see. Her teammates are gathered around her. The halftime buzz has gone, so they'll have to head back to the locker room as the 15 minutes is ticking through. But Evans does not look comfortable right now. I'm sure the medical team will work on her. But the halftime score here at the Copper Box is London Lions 45, Besiktas 35. London lead by three on aggregate. 20 minutes still to play. Here are your shooting percentages so far in this game. London Lions very, very efficient from all over the floor. The only thing really keeping Besiktas close in this one has been how hard they pushed them, forcing London into 10 turnovers. But look at that, 26 to 9 on the board for London Lions as well. Samuelson leads all scorers with 14 for London, whilst Lee has 11 for Besiktas. Second half just around the corner. Don't you go anywhere as London try and hold on to their lead whilst Besik just try to fight their way back into this one. At the end of this evening, we will crown a new Euro Cup women champion. History is on the line for both of these teams. Kirby makes some noise for these three, that's team number one. 
And over here on team number two. There you go, Ray, Emily, and Amelia Ray on team number two. Now, we need the support in the arena for these guys, so make sure you're cheering them on. On three, two, one, let's go!
on block 207, that's block 207, make sure you go check out Luna for your chance. So we need big time See that Euro Cup. Three-point lead, and you would say they're probably just about slight favourites now. They have a deeper rotation. They've rested more players than Besiktas has. Evans played the entire 20 minutes. Nogic played the entire 20 minutes. Lee played 19 and a half minutes. Fatigue will kick in for the Turkish team, which London may not be a victim of to the same degree. Starting five back on the floor for... London as well. We see back Ben Le Gustafsson, Petty Samuelson, and Winterburn return to the floor. And how important is Lee going to be for Schichter? You have a feeling very important indeed. She'll need another big half, actually a season high half, to help her team get the trophy. Second half underway here at the Copper Box in London. The second leg of the 2024 FIBA Euro Cup Women Final. London up by 10 on the night, up by three on aggregate. Samuelson with an early jumper, no good. Lee with the rebound, her fourth rebound of the game. Evans now, lob pass to Lee, off the glass for two. The big and little combo paying off again. Winterburn now, guarded by Lazic. A real feisty matchup between those two. 
Both tenacious, both aggressive. Both very good ballers. Winterburn trying to use the pivot, steps through, won't get the roll. Good defense by Lazic. Evans not looking to have any problems after that injury that she looked to pick up at the end of the first half, moving freely up the floor that time. Byram goes round, won't get the score. Gustafsson stands strong. Fag Benley fighting hard against Lee for the rebound, but Lee scoops up her fourth rebound of the game. Inside, Lee again held by Petty. That one's going to be a travelling violation called on Lee. I thought it was going to be a jump ball. Thought it was a held ball, but the officials say no, that's a travel. Look at Petty helping down here. She knows it's going to be a spin back. Turnover for Besiktas. London's lead down to eight on the night. One on aggregate. Petty now against Evans. Evans, that kind of defensive player, always looking for the steal. Averaging one and a half steals a game this season. Fag Benley in the low post against Lee. Oh, comes back again. What footwork by Temi Fag Benley. Beautiful play. Tries to put Lee in a spin. London back out to a 10 point lead. Lazic now. Well, the defense doesn't switch. Lazic gets the open shot. Winterburn questioning her teammates. Someone uh, lost the rotation on that defensive set. Lazic now up to eight this evening. Potentially a season high coming her way. 12 was her season high. She posted that twice, both against Girona in the semi final games. challenge on this call saying he doesn't believe it should be a London ball that it's come off a London hand so he's using his challenge early here coach Akea it's a bold move in a final particularly such a close final officials will go back and review the tape though Looking to see baseline camera and you do understand why it's important in such a closely fought series the camera they're looking for this should tell us everything oh yeah potentially that is off Gustafsson you know let's have a look not an easy call remember they have to see clear evidence that they were wrong to flip the call if they're not 100% sure they can't change the call advantage here of effectively a, an extra timeout as coaches see what the officials say they are going to flip the call that's a smart challenge by coach Akea and that's why the challenge is there one's knocked out of bounds by Gustafsson Winterburn will be charged with the turnover though on a bad pass Point lead. Besiktas with a chance to retake the aggregate lead here. Lazic comes up, sets the screen. Evans doesn't take it, floats inside, ends up on the floor. Byram now kicks it back out. Evans looking for contact that just wasn't there. Inside, no Nogic at one. That's a huge play by a huge player. Jovana Nogic comes with such intensity. Burst through the defense, draws the body contact from Fag Benley. Temi Fag Benley caught between two minds there. Wanted to come across and challenge, didn't want to pick up the foul though, but she does. Nogic at the line, and it's good. Besiktas bring the game back to within five. And that means they have a two-point aggregate lead right now. Strong start to the second half for the Turkish team. Fake Benley fakes the three. Gives it up to Samuelson. Samuelson drives inside against Lee. Has to come back out. Gustafsson for three at the top. Back of the iron and away, but she gets it back. 
as Winterburn bats it back to her. Winterburn now pulls into the three herself. Little flat. Rebound pulled down by Byram. Shifts us just about weather the storm on that possession. Mogic against Winterburn. Two very similar styles of player going toe to toe again. Step back, Nogic. Jumper's good. Yovana Nogic with another little fist pump and. No choice here for coach Kaltsadu, has to call a timeout. The team's lead on the night is trimmed to just three. They're down by four on aggregate. 6.23 left here in the third quarter, and the Besiktas fans are back in fine voice here in the second half. The atmosphere here in the Copper Box. It's been great to see how this women's team have brought together the basketball community in London. They really have done a phenomenal job in uniting so many different people here. Look how much they're enjoying themselves, fans young and old, and everywhere in between. And how much are they going to enjoy themselves if London can lift the trophy here this evening as well? Victus, though, resurgent here in the third quarter. The road team coming in with real composure, real steel here. Petty now skips it to Samuelson. Offensive foul is going to be called on Fag Benlake. Illegal screen. Mogic draws that foul off Fag Benlake. Chance here for Besiktas to potentially even tie the score on the evening. Drive inside, kick out is just picked up by Nogic. Oh, stolen away, Winterburn this time. Oh, and she drops it out of bounds. Benley tries to lift her back up again. It's those mistakes, you wonder how costly will they be when we get to the final buzzer. Will it come down to a one possession game? Evans now. Foul is called. Eddie called for the foul. Rise to the basket, just blasts past Petty, quick first step, can't get the finish though. Fag Benle pulls down the rebound. Her seventh board of the evening on her way to a double-double. Petty waits for the screen, will use it on the return, puts the three ball up, and it's in, Jay Petty! London lead by six on the night, they trail by one on aggregate. want to have a, a quick conversation right now 5 16 left in this third quarter that is a big big shot by Petty unbelievably her first points of the game she's not really a scorer though averaging just four points a game this season in Euro Cup women she's more about the in other areas of the game officials are going to check this one though I'm not sure whether they're checking if it's a three or a two they are looking at the replay If we can lip read and see what decisions they're making. This is Petty with the step back. 
Yeah, feet firmly planted outside. It's a relatively easy call to make. It will keep it as a three. It's understandable that the officials want to check these things, though. Every point, every possession. So, so important for both of these teams. Remember, both teams' history on the line. A chance to lift the first ever European trophy for both of these teams. No, Gitch almost has it stolen away by Winterburn. Instead, she'll go past her and draw the foul. She's asking for the review, but they can't review whether it's a foul or not. Frustrated. But they can't review whether it's a foul or not. London Lions, four team fouls. Besiktas yet to pick up a foul in the first nearly five minutes of this second half. Maybe that tells you a lot about London Lions' offence, not being aggressive enough, not going to the basket strong enough, maybe. Whilst Besiktas really doing a good job here in the second half so far. Nogic now, step back, three ball. Oh, not this time. Looked like she'd gone into cruise control, into autopilot, out at the races, though. Oh, foul called on Byram. Benley will have to earn a point from the charity strike. This game hanging in the balance and the crowd in the arena can sense it as well. A nervous energy right now as yeah, an easy call for the officials as Byram does anything to stop Fag Benley from getting the breakaway too. First is good for Temi Fag Benley. 15 points for her now, as well as six rebounds. Six from eight from the field for Fag Benley. She does shoot 61% across the season from the field. Such an efficient player. Misses the second free throw, though, as Gustafsson tries to get the rebound, but Byram locks that one in. We are now tied on aggregate. London's lead on the night is seven, and we are all square across the two legs. This game is delivering every single second. Evans for three. Gustafsson rips down the rebound. It uncontested. Sixth rebound of the game for her. Petty now. Hands it off to Winterburn. Winterburn will use a Gustafsson screen. She'll get it back. Three ball goes up. That's a shallow shot. Another rebound for Byram. Eighth rebound for her. Plenty of big players getting some big boards right now. Evans just goes past Petty again, hands it off to Byram. She'll take the dribble and come back out. Nogic will go at the basket and just comes up a brick wall. Oh, Byram just stays with the play. Everyone else looking for fouls. And Byram, one of the younger players on the floor, just 22 years old, shows some veteran maturity and just carries on playing. Samuelson now. Looks to drive inside, draws the foul off Nogic. Smart play by Carly Samuelson. The game will return. Savannah Wilkinson as Fag Benley heads to the bench. Wilkinson doing a great job, the 25-year-old coming in and providing a little bit of cover. Did a great job in the first half, to be fair. Sean in the spotlight. Winterburn to the basket. Oh, that is a tough play. How do you sneak past a rim protector like Lee? Well, Holly Winterburn has the answer right there. Back to tied on aggregate. Evans now scoops inside, high off the glass and... The rim is not her friend this time. Rattles in, but out. Final three minutes now of this third quarter. The pressure increasing as every second ticks past. Petty to the basket, no good. Smart pass by Samuelson, but Petty couldn't get the finish. And the jumper is good for Lazic. Besiktas is showing a lot more composure right now. Ochakea. Never leaves his feet, never sits down, always trying to lift his team, trying to drive his team forward. Samuelson fakes the three, steps in, lane opens up, and one, Carly Samuelson. 
She'll head to the free throw line for the bonus. Besiktas' rotation goes to sleep this time. We have another injury on the floor for Besiktas. This does not look good. Wanda back out to a seven point lead on the night. We're all tied on aggregate. 2.24 left in the third quarter. Myers will come into the game as Petty comes out. to deal with another injury here. This doesn't look good right now. Lay on the bench right now after receiving treatment on the floor. Ravasovic comes in. Lukasovic comes in for Lazic as well. London's lead, though, up to eight. A one-point lead on aggregate. This one is as close as we expected. Nogic kicks it out. Baseline drive. Offensive foul is going to be called on Nogic. An illegal screen as Winterburn ends up on the floor. Let's have a look at the replay. And on the floor, official saying Nogic leaned into the screen. Double screen at the top for Winterburn. Gustafsson for three. Oh, a huge shot. What a pivotal moment for Gustafsson to step up. She's done this throughout the season. Big time player. London's lead. Oh, he's trimmed back down again. This is a back and forth game as Evans nails the three off the Nogic assist. And he's back to an eight point lead on the night, a one point lead on aggregate for London. Winterburn tries to find Gustafsson. It's a weak pass, though, to be fair. Nogic long skip pass out to Evans. Inside to Byram. She'll get another score. Big play by Elith Byram. Six points for her, nine rebounds as well. And Bashik just retake the aggregate lead. They trail by six on the night. They're up by one on aggregate. Samuelson skips it to Winterburn. Winterburn calls for the screen. Five left on the shot clock. Steps inside. Step back, step through. Off the right hand. Gets the glass. Won't get the roll. What's the call? Foul's going to be called on Besiktas as London crashed the O boards hard. Nogic called for the foul. The crowd are on their feet. The Besiktas fans are not happy. Technical foul's been called on Coach Akea as well. They need to be careful. He needs to calm down or he's going to get himself thrown out of the final. Smart play by Evans. Telling him to calm down. And Nogic heads to the bench. That is foul number five on Yovana Nogic. That's why there's such animated reaction from Besiktas, but Coach Akea knew the risk he was running by keeping Nogic on the floor. Now Besiktas have lost their second highest scoring player this season. Oh my goodness me, what a turning point this could be. Samuelson, within all this melee, has hit the bonus technical free throw. Can Besiktas regain some composure? Jakea is still not happy, he's fuming. He needs to be careful, he's got one, uh, one technical foul. If he picks up another, he'll be watching the rest of the final from the locker room. And that really would be a shame for him to end what has been a glorious season for Besiktas. Whether they win or lose this evening, what a season they've had here in Euro Cup women. Coach Kaltzado and her coaching staff, though, can almost smell the blood in the water right now.
The Shikters will make the change. The officials under a huge amount of pressure now. The coach Akea and the coaching staff in his ear the whole time. They need to be careful. Myers at the line. Misses the first. Coach Akea screaming at the commissioner right now. The official asking him to return to his area. Needs to be careful. If he doesn't listen, he will be thrown out of the game. And over goes Dana Evans saying it's not worth it. You're not going to win the battle right here. That is smart play by Dana Evans. 25 years old, but showing some veteran leadership. Myers goes 0 from 2 from the free throw line. Hasn't been to the free throw line much this season, but hadn't missed prior to that trip. Evans now, crossover, drives at the basket. Off the glass, no good. Rebound ripped down by Byram again. What a game she's having. Double digits rebound for Elif Byram now. Evans inside, won't get the roll. Byram with the rebound, and the foul's going to be called. And Oh, catch your breath as Samuelson picks up her fourth foul. 29.7 seconds remaining. Surely Samuelson will go to the bench. She will. Winterburn will come in in her place. Wow, what a flip of the script here in the closing minute of this third quarter. We are all tied on aggregate right now. London lead by seven on the night. We are tied in this final on aggregate what a game this one history for the clubs but it's going to go potentially down in the history books as an absolute classic Iran misses the first and fatigue and pressure will now start to pay on these players Iran just 22 years old our way up through the Besiktas junior ranks doesn't get the second to go. A big rebound, though, from Kravasevic. Rebound ripped down by Schnitzina. Let's see what the call is. Tempers flaring a little. Both teams just need to regain some composure right now. Let's have a look at the replay here. Kravasevic tangles with Gustafsson. Schnitzina rips it down. Jump ball is called. The Schichters will hold on to possession as the possession arrow points their way. And maybe just to calm things down a little, Coach Akea calls a timeout. His team trail by seven on the night. They're tied on aggregate. 24.9 seconds left in this third quarter. to the floor a little over 24 seconds left in this third quarter what an absolute drama of a third quarter we've had here Megan Gustafsson eight points but a plus minus in favor a plus 11 for her that's the contribution she's brought Lazic now to inbound on the baseline they're trying to find Evans it's not there they'll have to go long eventually into the hands of Evans Evans just splits the defense to the goal oh, what a block not in Myers' house. Evans has her shot swatted into the VIP seats on the front row of the baseline. This looked like another two for Evans. Myers had other thoughts. Glided behind her. The chase down block is good. And there's the roar. Myers enjoyed that one. Lazic 
kicks it out. Pusevic hits the jumper. Some of the role players for Besiktas today have really stepped up in a very, very big way. Four seconds left in the quarter. Peddy throws it inside. Gustafsson gets it away. They've waved it off, though. It was after the buzzer. They've waved it off. It was after the buzzer. I think they're going to have a coach's challenge on this, though. And Gustafsson and Peddy seem pretty confident that it was within time. The officials, will they go to the monitor to review this? I think they're going to. Here's the replay. I'm not sure this one's going to help. They'd probably be better from the other end. Or maybe they will with the far one. I oh, know, I think she still had hold of it. As the red lights came up on the far backboard, that's going to be your best guide. Were there any red lights while she was still touching the ball? I think there were. And they will wave it off. End of the third quarter, it's London Lions 60, Besiktas 55. Besiktas down on the night by, by two on aggregate. Here are the shooting percentages from today's game. London still shooting the ball at a good percentage. Bushikta slowly but surely their percentages are creeping up. But it's their de defence that has kept them in this game. But Jovana Nogic fouling out in that third quarter has certainly made their task in the fourth even harder now. Coach Akea picking up a technical foul as well. more minutes of European basketball left for these two teams. Ten minutes stands between one of them and history. One of them and their club's first ever European trophy. For London, it would also be securing the first ever European trophy for a British team. So not only do they have their club's history in their hand, but their countries as well. But for, but for Besiktas, it is about joining the top table of Turkish basketball joining the likes of Galatasaray and Fenerbahce as European champions. Picking up a European trophy really does establish themselves amongst that usual top trio. of basketball left here at the Copper Box. The crowd have come in their numbers. The crowd have come with some real energy and some real noise, including the travelling fans. Look at those Besiktas fans there in the back of your shot on the left. They have absolutely done what they can to lift their team. Ten minutes left as the final quarter gets underway here at the Copper Box. The second leg of the 2024 FIBA Europe Cup women's final. As it stands, Besiktas trail on the night, but they lead by two on aggregate. Travelling violation on Winterburn. That's the right call from the official. Besiktas fans starting to enjoy themselves. Are they ten minutes away from seeing their team lift the trophy for the first time? Blazic. Nice to find a gap to exploit. Evans for three, off right. Long rebound, where's it going? Oh, that's a smart, smart play. Wonderful play from Kravasovic. Heads up from the veteran. Maintains possession for Besiktas. Sideline ball for the Turkish team. Evans now, three ball again. Oh, an air ball. Aina Evans maybe trying to force things a little bit too much. She hears the uh, derisory cries from the home fans. Winterburn now looking for options. Oh, it's thrown out of bounds almost, is it? It's thrown away. London can't hold on to it. Another turnover. That's a foul. Will it be an unsportsmanlike foul? Winterburn frustrated with Myers. Myers frustrated, I think, with Winterburn. Let's have a look at the call here. Or is it from behind? Seven turnovers this evening for Harley Winterburn. 
That is a tough stat line to read for a player that has been phenomenal. It is an unsportsmanlike foul called on Myers. Lazic at the line for two free throws. It's the first real opportunity here for Besiktas. They look like they had a, a, a turning point against them in that third quarter with Nogic fouling out and their coach pick up being technical. Lazic can't hit the second though. But their aggregate lead increases to three and they'll take possession on the sideline. A little over nine minutes left here in the final. That will remain Besiktas ball. 12 seconds on the shot clock. Jumper, no good. Myers ends up on the floor. It's stolen away, or is it stolen back? Gustafsson just about holds on to it. What's the call? He's on Kravasevic on the floor. Real scrappy phase of the game right now as both teams are just fighting to try and find something here that gives them the advantage. A foul on Kravasevic. London have possession. Besiktas fans in such fine voice right now, trying to lift their team. Foul called off the ball. Shot clock resets back out to 14 for London. Vasovic called for the foul, and this is problematic for Coach Akea and for Besiktas. They don't have depth in their bench. Peddy now back out to Myers, being harassed by Kupusevic. Winterburn feeds it inside. Gustafsson will draw another foul off. Well, once again, Kravasevic, that's three fouls in the space of, well, what is it, 30 seconds. That is tough for Coach Akea to deal with, but that's the situation. He's in right now with a shallow roster. Nogic has already fouled out. Kravasevic up to four fouls. Lee's on four fouls as well. That's why she's on the bench. Gustafsson. Jump ball is called. That will be Besiktas' ball as the possession arrow points in their favour, I think. so hard this evening eight points and five rebounds influential when she's on the floor brings real guts and determination Lazic hands it back to Evans Evans now uses the screen trying to create some space to attack Lazic three ball oh that's a huge shot from the 23 year old ice cold what a play unbelievable composure Besiktas' lead is up to six now. London absolutely on the back foot. Mid-range two from Fag Benle. The captain steps up and drains the J. 17 points for Temi Fag Benle. London still lead by three on the night, but trail by four on aggregate. The crowd chanting defense. Petty, uh, sorry, Evans inside, no good as Petty and Gustafsson stands strong. Skip pass, wide open, Myers, corner pocket three, it's heavy. Rebound falls to Besiktas. Oh, dramatic final quarter here. Kapusevic called for an illegal screen, an offensive foul. Kaltadu, Coach Kaltadu will make the change. Myers to the bench. Onto the floor comes Samuelson. Samuelson on four fouls, though, so she'll have to be careful. Maybe Besiktas will try and attack that. She won't be able to play too competitive defensively. Samuelson, the leading scorer for both teams. 18 points, 7 from 10 from the field. Winterburn now. 
uses the screen twice from Thag Benley. Shot clock down to eight. Double team comes across. Pass inside. Back out. Elbow jumper. No good for Winterburn. And the rebound falls to Evans. Evans slowed down. Absolute heart in the mouth basketball right now for both these teams. Lazic. Inside now. Samuelson being isolated and off but dropped out of bounds. And that's a smart play, really, by Popusevic. She knows that Samuelson's in foul trouble. She knows she's not going to body her too hard and that she'll have to get some help. The double team would have to come across. And she tried to find Byram, but Byram's cut maybe a little bit too early or a little bit too aggressive for her to be able to find her. Samuelson now. Inside to Gustafsson. Gustafsson going to work. Drop step off the glass. That is money in the bank for Gustafsson. Six minutes left. London Lions lead by five on the night. Besiktas lead by two on aggregate. Lazic hands it off to the wing. Almost stolen away. London pushing hard. The on-ball pressure increasing. Evans drives inside, floating. Oh, comes up short, though. Shot clock violation. Baseline ball for London. Chance for them to potentially tie or even take the lead on aggregate here with this possession. Five and a half minutes left before we know which of these teams has made history for their club. Which team will be carving their name onto the trophy? Gustafsson goes strong, draws the foul from Dupusevic. And Besiktas really struggling to keep players on the floor right now. Into the game returns Lee. Lee on four fouls as well. back at the line that's the second to go after missing the first six point game on the night a one point lead for Besiktas as we're about to crash our way into the final five minutes of this year's Euro Cup women's competition what a competition it has been so many great teams from all over Europe going toe to toe Dozens and dozens of huge games have taken place and it all culminates here right now at the Copper Box in London. Two teams that have never won this before. One of them will be happy, one of them will be devastated. Lee can't get the score, but Besiktas grab another offensive rebound. Lazic steps in. What a play. A Croatian stepping up in a big way here. In the clutch for her team, taking on some of the responsibility Nogic would have had. Petty goes to the basket, no good. Lee with the rebound. Out of bounds, a turnover. London ball on the baseline. Petty, teardrop. Can't get it to go. No coach's challenge left for Coach Akea. He was looking to. I'm not saying it would have been successful. That was tough to see off the replay. Baseline drive by Samuelson inside. Good defense by Toposic. Samuelson hits the ground hard after drawing the foul. Toposic called for the foul. And does not look happy right now. Coach Kaltadu not happy either as Samuelson is helped to her feet. <laughs> Ch 
She'll have to come out of the game now. She's received medical attention as well, so it won't be her shooting free throws. Even though they would have wanted her to, she's their best free throw shooter by far. Myers will come in instead. Myers missed her last two. That is problematic. That is probably what Coach Kaltzadu was so frustrated with. Four minutes, 31 seconds remaining. Myers hits the first. These are pressure shots for the 24-year-old American. Comes with real pedigree from Princeton. Two from two with the ultimate pressure on her shoulder. She shrugs it off and nails the free throws. London up by six on the night. Besiktas up by one on aggregate. Evans attacks the lane again. Lazic for three. Not this time. Lee's going to get called for the foul, and that will be the end of Lee. That will be her fifth foul. Besiktas really struggling with this shallow rotation. Let's have a look at the replay. Shot goes up. Gustafsson tries to box out. Yeah, it's that right arm of Lee just shrugs her off and Lee the second Besiktas player to foul out. Nogic fouled out in the third. Lee fouls out with four minutes and 14 seconds to play. Oh my goodness. Into the game comes Ozunalu, the 22 year old. Hardly seen any action. Hasn't seen any in this final series and now she's thrown in at the deep end. Now Besiktas lacks size on the floor. Long rebound after the first make. Gustafsson misses the second. Said it a few times this evening. I'll say it again. We are all tied on aggregate. Unbelievable. You could not have written the script for this game any better if you tried to dramatize it for Netflix. Evans goes to the bucket once again. Can't get the score, but will draw the foul. Myers called for the foul and Evans back to the free throw line. Just 10 points for Evans this evening. She had 20 in the first leg. Hasn't had quite the same impact yet, may I reiterate. There's still just about four minutes to play. She is an explosive player that can score in a hurry. It's the first. And the second. Re-establishing Besiktas' aggregate lead. They're up by two on aggregate. Winterburn trying to find space. Nothing going right now. I'm not sure why London aren't looking to go inside. Besiktas really lacking size and strength down low with Lee out of the game. Down to three. Winterburn for three. It's too heavy. Long rebound to Gustafsson. Surely they look to go inside. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Into the corner. Samuelson feeds it to Fag Benelay. Oh, wonderful play. Won't get the roll. She will knock it back, but it's only out of bounds for Schichter's ball. Oh, absolutely heart stopping action. Timeout has been called. London 68, but Schichta 63. London may have that five point lead on the night, but it's Besiktas who hold a two-point aggregate lead as coach Akea calls a timeout with three minutes and 15 seconds remaining. here at the Copper Box all night. Wonderful atmosphere created by both the London fans and the Besiktas fans, but one set of fans is going to go home heartbroken and 
three minutes and 15 seconds of basketball. Whilst the other oh, is going to be euphoric and lift the roof. Is it going to be the majority? Is it going to be the London fans celebrating in the streets? Or is it going to be the black and white portion of Istanbul that goes mad with the Besiktas win? 12 points and 7 assists for Dana Evans. Another big performance for her. Alongside Lazic, they've been the keys offensively this evening for Besiktas. Lazic has 16. Evans for three. Too heavy, long rebound. Gustafsson with another rebound, her seventh of the evening. Just three shy of a double-double for her now. The same as her teammate in the front court. Fagbenle just needs three more rebounds for the double-double. Fagbenle inside, Gustafsson goes to the left hand, gets the score. And we are back to tied on aggregate. Seven-point lead for London on the night. There is nothing between these two teams on aggregate. Evans now gets the mismatch she wants against Fagbenle. Ball to the corner. Not taken. Baseline drive. Oh, the pass is there. It comes back, though. And the shot is off target. Winterburn with the rebound. Just over two minutes remaining here in the final. Inside, Gustafsson, and one, no, it's waved away. What's the call? It's on the floor, I think. The Schichters are in the penalty, so Gustafsson will go to the line. Let's have a look. Yeah, the foul was not the swipe at the end. It was when she received it. It was before the shot, so Gustafsson will go to the line for two. Coach Akea not happy again. He's got to be careful. He's going to get himself thrown out of the game. In fact, he has. He's got a technical foul, and that's why he's even more furious. Coach Akea has to leave the arena. Oh, that is a shame. What a sad way for Coach Akea to finish his European season. What a season it's been for him at Besiktas. But he now has to go back. He has another word with the commissioner on the way out. Not a smart move by him. Potential for future punishments to be handed down to him. As he walks slowly back to the locker room and he can't have an impact now. This game was in the balance. Two minutes and five seconds to play, and his assistants will have to step up now. Gustafsson hits the two free throws. The first was the technical, the second was her first of her two. Coach Ahmet Yildirim will step in and deputise for Coach Akea. The London Lions men's players on the baseline cheering. Their female teammates on. Three ball Evans. Oh, she's not going to let it go away. She refuses to back down. Nails the triple. Evans ties the game on aggregate again. Oh, wow. This is the game that keeps on giving. Just when you think it's swung in favor of London, Evans steps up, nails a huge shot. Timeout called here by coach Kaltzadu. She looks to gain a little bit of composure for her team. moments that big players love the pressure the glory and everything that comes along with it as you see there both teams leaning heavily on their starting five lines only getting eight points from their bench for ship to seven from theirs as the party continues here at the copper box the fans have been on their feet for pretty much the entire game what an atmosphere hasn't it been amazing seeing london lions women's team in europe this season they really have 
taken the club to a whole new level, taken women's basketball in Great Britain to a whole new level, inspired the next generation. But are they under two minutes away from making history, or are Besiktas going to be the party poopers here at the Copper Box? Are Besiktas going to come away with their first ever European trophy? Oh, unbelievable drama still awaits. One minute and 50 seconds left to play. Winterburn now. Feeds to Gustafsson. Gustafsson trying to find back Ben Lieber. Evans reads it. The pass was too obvious from Gustafsson. She goes inside, hands it off. Byram gets the score. Besiktas leaning on their leader, leaning on Evans. Petty now to Gustafsson. Back to Petty for three. Oh, what a shot from Petty! What a time to step up. She's hit two big threes in today's game and they've come at absolutely clutch moments. London lead this one by a single point on aggregate. We enter the final minute. Evans in and out. Rebound back Benley. Composure needed from London now. They lead by a single point on aggregate. Winterburn with possession. Stolen away, Evans reads another pass, she's out for the two. Rejected by Winterburn, but Besiktas will hold on to possession. Absolutely breathtaking basketball here from Dane Evans. She's doing everything she can right now to lead her team, to try and take her team to the trophy, to the glory. 43.2 seconds remaining. Coach Kaltzadu is going to challenge the call. She just wants to use that coach's challenge, and you just never know in a, a close situation like that. Was there a, a fingertip touch from Evans on the ball on the way out? That's what London are hoping. The Schichters are ready to go, though. They want the ball back on the baseline. London Lions lead by eight on the night. They lead by one on aggregate. This has been one of the most hyped Euro Cup women's finals for a long time, and rightfully so. Both the first and second legs have delivered on all that hype and some more. It will remain Besiktas ball. Baseline ball for the Turkish team. 43.2 seconds remaining. 43.2 seconds between one of these teams and the history books. Lazic hands it back to the player of the hour. Evans again inside. Off the glass for two. Besiktas take the lead on aggregate. 35 seconds remaining. Will London Lions go a two for one? Winterburn trying to find a pass, nothing there. Manages just about to find Petty in time. Petty got the mismatch to Winterburn. Shot clock at six. Winterburn for three! Holly Winterburn hits a huge three. She's done it again. Now it's London with the aggregate lead. They lead by nine on the night, two on aggregate. My goodness me. Holly Winterburn is a superhero. She does not understand what pressure is. Just loves it, revels in it, grows as the pressure increases. London up by nine on the night, up by two on aggregate. 15.4 seconds remaining. I said at the beginning of this game, this could go the full 40 minutes. Well, it's definitely done that. I also said it could go even further. Do not rule that out. Remember, if London at the end of regulation are leading this one by seven, we will go to overtime. We will have a winner here this evening. That is one of the joys of basketball. 15.4 seconds remaining. What a game this crowd, this huge crowd at the Copper Box has been gifted here this evening. Will 
they get the cherry on top of the cake, though. Will those London fans, those young London fans, get to see their team crowned? 2024 FIBA Euro Cup Women Champions, or will the Besiktas fans go wild behind that Besiktas bench? 15.4 seconds remaining. I don't think you have to be uh, a basketball expert to know where the ball is going to go. They're going to look to get it into Dana Evans's hands. Will she try and get an early quick score? Will it just be for the tie or will she look for the three? I have a feeling she'll go just to tie the game. Ball inbounded. Drive to the basket. Lazic has to kick it out. It's stolen away by Samuelson. Is this it? They're going to get it over. They're going to drive in the basket. Petty will bring it back out, though. Five seconds remaining, and Gustafsson is fouled. Oh, my goodness. What seems here to close this out? They clearly were trying to find Evans. They couldn't. Lazic got stuck with the ball down low and had to throw a tough pass. Samuelson stole it away. Petty, what a smart play, attacked the basket and then just turned around. I'd rather burn the clock. Gustafsson hits the first of the two free throws. If she hits this one, surely that is the title in the bag. Surely, 3.3 seconds. They're up by three on aggregate. They're up by four on aggregate now. Is this the moment? Three ball goes up, and that's it! They've done it! London Lions are the 2024 FIBA Euro Cup Women's Champions. Mark your calendars. Today is the day London Lions have made history. The first ever British team to win a European trophy. The celebrations will go on long and hard into the night here in London. There's tears on the court. Your final score, London Lions 81, Besiktas 70. London Lions win the final by four on aggregate. What a team, what a performance. Every single player in tears on the floor. They know what they've done. They've written their names into the history books. They are European champions and so deserved. Your heart, though, has to go out for Besiktas. What a season they have had. An absolute heartbreak for them to close the season out this way. Final score here at the Copper Box. London Lions 81, Besiktas 70. London Lions are the 2024 FIBA Euro Cup Women's Champions. Here are the percentages if you care about them. For once, basketball isn't about the stats. This is about the story and the emotions. What a joyous moment as Coach Kaltzadu plows into the huddle. Oh, the celebrations here. The Besiktas fans heartbroken right now. They'll stay to support their team and the medal ceremony for sure, but the rest of the crowd are on their feet, jubilant as London Lions have made history here on their home floor. What a season, what a team. They are European champions. That is something that these players will have for the rest of their lives. A moment, an achievement that they will never forget. It will live with them forever go down as one of the biggest moments in their careers even for the veteran players like Schnitzina final game in Europe and she's going to be crowned a champion there's the two legs you saw Besiktas winning the first leg by seven London winning the second leg by 11 that's why London will be gifted that wonderful trophy very soon and the celebrations have only just started they really have Rightfully so, this London roster will enjoy themselves now. Look out, East London. There is a uh, basketball team on their way out to have a good time this evening. The parting will go long and hard, deep into the night. They will enjoy themselves. What an achievement for this team. What an achievement 
for British basketball. What a team performance as well for London. Four players in double digits. Carly Samuelson leading all scorers with 19 points. Three rebounds as well for her. Just behind her, Gustafsson, 18.7 rebounds. In fact, Benelay, 17 points, eight rebounds. And Holly Winterburn, 13 points and nine rebounds. But those stats can all be forgotten in a heartbeat. The only stat that matters to this team are is the scoreboard, is the scoreline. As I say, heartbreaking for Besiktas. Some big games on the floor for them, none more so than Dana Evans. She did all she could, played every second of the game again. 17 points and eight assists, as well as four steals for her. Lazic just behind her, the youngster with 22 points, whilst Lee has 13 points and five rebounds and five assists. Tears pouring and roaring from the faces of the Lions players. What a moment for all of these players. What an achievement it really is. They work so hard, you don't see how many hours and years of dedication it takes for these players to get to this level, to become European champions. And it's these moments where they can just let that go and enjoy the moment. Not think about training tomorrow. I'm sure Coach Kaltadu will give a team the day off, or at least the morning off, so they can recover from tonight's celebrations. Champions hats are on. What a wonderful, wonderful two legs of this final we've had. And the London Lions fans are going nowhere. They are waiting to see the team crown champions an embrace between captain and coach as Temi Fagbenley just engulfs coach Kaltzadu great coach helping Temi Fagbenley really well she already had but engraved even more her name in the record books for British basketball look at the joy between those two so important for a coach and a captain to be aligned and you can clearly see that they are as Megan Gustafson tries to regain a little bit of composure and then loses it all over again. You can't blame her. What an achievement. And the DJ is certainly keeping the party going as we wait for the medal presentations and the trophy presentation as well here on the floor. between players and coaches and a journey they've all been on together. They've got each other's backs and it's a long season traveling all over Europe. This is not an easy competition to win. It pushes you to your limits physically, mentally and your abilities. Absolutely it does. It really, really does. But uh, ultimately, London Lions will be the deserved champions here. They just head out the arena briefly as the arena is dressed for the medal presentation and the trophies as well. The Besiktas players already just want to get it out of the way, I imagine. It's runners up, you know, it's tough to take and celebrate the achievement and it still is an achievement before Besiktas. They've had a, an amazing season themselves and just one game short of walking away with the trophy. Well, not even one game short, let's be honest couple of possessions short of walking away with the trophy. Tough in the moment though for these Besiktas players to truly understand what they've achieved this season. But when the dust settles, I'm sure they will. I'm sure they will absolutely remember this season, the camaraderie and the team effort it took to get them to the final and get them so close. presentation party here, Kieran Achara and Kamil Novak. Kieran Achara, part of the British Basketball Federation. Kamil Novak, the FIBA Europe.
Sheriff Secretary General will be presenting the medals as we wait for the Shikhtas to come onto the floor to get their runners-up medals into the game. Kenneth Byram followed by Jovana Nogic. Tiana Kravasevic is next onto the floor, receiving her medal from Emil Novak. John Cash on as well. Didn't get to see action, the 18-year-old. Evans certainly did. Dana Evans, the 25-year-old, putting in another big performance. Lazic as well. Did everything she could. Season high points tally for her this evening, but it wasn't quite enough. Azunolu. The Uaru. Kash as well. Pusevic gets her medal. The players come to the middle of the floor and you know, it won't feel like an achievement right now, but when the dust settles, I do hope they look back and realise how impressive they've been this year, how powerful their performance has been this year. As we see Kieran Achara, very familiar face in British basketball circles, part of the men's London 2012 team and now part of the British Basketball Federation. Trying to uh, pass forward the experiences he's had at the international level. But all focus and all the limelight, all the spotlight should be on that group right there. The white jerseys, the black champions hats. They'll probably need to take them off now though because it's going to be difficult to get a medal over a hat in logistics but leading the way and rightfully so is their captain Temi Fagbenle crowd of all stayed to celebrate with the team and rightfully so tears on the Besiktas eyes it's understandable, an emotional roller coaster of a season, and that even more so compacted down into the 40 minutes they've had here today. Players and coaches and management exchanging some hugs. Just uh, awaiting the presentation of the winner's medals and the trophy ultimately here at the Copper Box. That should just be a few moments away now. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we present the champions of the Euro And now the London team will come to the floor. Demi Fagbenle asking the fans to raise the roof. What a moment for her. This must be up there alongside representing a country at a home Olympics. Jorge Garbajosa, the FIBA Europe president, will be presenting the medals. Leading the way will be Tenny Thagbenle. In fact, they're going to go number order. Ivana Katanic goes first. She's run straight past her medal. She goes back and gets it. Next out is Shanice Beckford Norton. Selena Schnitzina, her last ever European game. What a way to close a European career out as we see the uh, now almost signature roar from Holly Winterburn as she comes to the floor. Faye Endine. 20 years old, what a bright future ahead for her. Megan Gustafsson, what a game she's had today. Stepped up in a big way again, 18 points for her. Now into pick up the medal, Shay Petty. Registering five assists today. Big role there for Savannah Wilkinson as well, came in and did a good job. Temi Fagbenli steps in. 
receives her medal, the captain, Abby Myers now, will receive her medal. Big game for Myers as well, hits some big shots, a couple of big free throws in the clutch. Maya Price, and then last but not least, Carly Samuelson, and she really stepped up. Second half of the first leg and the whole of the final, a big game for her. Samuelson ended up leading all scores with 19 points for the Lions. And there are your Lions with their gold medals around their necks. Coach Kaltzadu comes to join them. That's Coach Klimas Patel will as well, and Coach Matthew Pickett. Now that moment where we all kind of have the anticipation, the waiting for the trophy moment. What a moment as well to hold a gold medal, to be able to lean on that champion's banner. Players have worked their whole careers to get to that stage. Look at the smiles. Not seen so many teeth since the toothpaste advert. Beautiful smiles, wonderful performance and those smiles will take a long time to fade. And they are our Euro Cup champions. And you can see the camaraderie this team have had all season. If you follow them on their social media, you can see how much fun they have as a team. And the real connections they have and that's part of the power right that's part of why is the number 44 from the London Lions. and there is your MVP award Carly Samuelson the Great Britain International what a game she had today ending up with 19 points today shooting five from five in the free throw line seven from nine from the field, but alongside that, she also had 16 points in the first leg as well. A deserved win at Carly Samuelson, your Euro Cup Women Finals MVP. And now the moment that the fans have been waiting for. Carly Samuelson in tears again, picking up that trophy. I'm sure her family, if they're not here or watching, I'm sure they're in tears as well. A real basketball family. But this is the moment that all London Lions fans have been waiting for as Temi Fagbenele, the captain, steps forward, shakes hands with Jorge Garbajosa, gets the obligatory photos before the moment she's been waiting for. Pioneers, trailblazers, groundbreakers and history makers, the London Lions are the 2024 FIBA Euro Cup Women's Champions. They lift the trophy to the sky and they are flying high right now. The first ever British team to win a European trophy. An unbelievable performance. They only lost one game all season. That was the first leg of the final in Turkey against Besiktas. What a performance. An amazing team, an amazing moment. History makers writing their name into the record books, not just for their club, but for their country as well. Really forging the way forward for Great Britain. What a moment, not just in those players' lives, but the history of their club and women's basketball in the UK. I hope that it can go from strength to strength right now and that this can provide the foundations to go on and go higher and go further. As Gustafsson enjoys a little bit of karaoke and the players now will take their chances to get a photo with the trophy. As the photographers obligingly will snap away all night if they can. Carly Samuelson with her hands full. The finals MVP as well as the trophy in the other hand and the gold medal around her neck. Big smiles. 
on Carly's face and understandable what a season she has had. Phenomenal season. Adnich's turn now. But the celebrations will go on long into the night in London. And the players will deserve every little bit of celebrations. Here's some of the highlights from the game. And I will leave you with these highlights, but just to say what a season it's been here in FIBA Euro Cup women. And it's fitting that such an amazing season is closed out, such an amazing final with two unbelievable teams. Huge credit to both Besiktas and London Lions for providing us with a real modern day classic of a final. But it's the London Lions who have done it. They trailed by seven. Listen, the fans, of course, backed you right again. That's probably one of the best great basketball league atmospheres that we've ever had here in the Commonwealth Arena. Your words to the fans and thanks for the season. Guys, thank you so much for coming out. Coming out in football, making some noise. Don't be shy to make noise, guys. This is how it's going to be, okay? Thank you so much for pulling out. And 